their 21st anniversary. So they've uh, commissioned some research just telling us a bit more about how we all shop. Morning, everyone. Yeah, eBay's done a bit of number crunching about what we've been buying. Top trends include Marvel Comics, Lego Specials and Limited Edition Trainers. We're also buying more refurbished technology, so things like old mobile phones. And apparently we have a growing love of fancy dress costumes, in particular Halloween ones. Well, with me is the head of UK Trading, Murray Lamble at eBay. Good morning to Good morning. you. So just tell us a bit about your research in terms of what you found out about us all and how we're shopping. Yeah, so one of the big things is uh, consumers buying multi-screen. So they're watching stuff on TV, they're then uh, browsing on their mobile phone and we see a massive peak in, in people buying things. So after the Olympics, during the Olympics and straight after the cycling racing, we see a massive spike in sales of indoor cycle trainers. Uh, same with swimming equipment. So you really see kind of a relationship between what people are watching on TV and then yeah. what they're then buying online. And that, interestingly, that goes across all manner of shows, like Bake Off, people buying specialist cooking gear and that type of thing. Yeah, exactly. So uh, what we find is uh, baking is a great example. So a massive spike in people buying very niche kind of baking products that wouldn't con con uh, traditionally have been sold. What we're trying to do is make that data available to businesses across the UK. We've got 150,000 businesses that trade on the platform. Uh, and what we want to do is get them that information about what consumers are looking for so they can sell. And are you seeing the types of businesses who are using your site changing in terms of who they are and the types of business they're doing? Yeah, we see a massive range, right? With 150,000 businesses, you've got everything from the individual selling from home up to very large uh, high street retailers that are trading on the platform. What we want to do is make the platform available to everybody so everybody can start a business, trade online successfully and get that data which wouldn't typically be available to a smaller uh, business. Um, one of the things the taxman says they want to crack down on is sellers who aren't paying income tax on what they're earning on your site. Are you getting involved in any of that in terms of helping uh, HMRC with it? Yeah, we work very closely with HMRC uh, to make sure that our business sellers understand their obligations under UK tax law. Uh, and then once they've been able to set themselves up and run their business successfully, what we want to do is get them the data and the information so that they can make the most of the opportunity and then add on extra services so that they can really scale their businesses. So, for example, giving a small business based uh, in Blackpool access to distribute their items through Argos or Sainsbury's stores across the UK, which is a deal that we've recently done. Um, this has all come out because it's your 21st anniversary. It's interesting how it, officially, essentially, it started as an auction site, but a lot of what you do now is fixed price stuff rather than the auction selling, isn't it? Why, why, why has that change come about, do you think? Yeah, yeah. So we've got, globally, we've got a billion items available on eBay. 80% of what we sell is uh, new inventory and new fixed price inventory. Uh, you've still got a bunch of auction items in the mix as well. It's, it's really the mix of what consumers are looking for. So most consumers want things easy and quick to find and get them through fast delivery. In addition, you've got a load of niche and unique inventory which you also want to make available to customers. It is a competitive market to be in, in online shopping. What do you think is going to happen in the future in the way we see people shop and the way you guys are going to have to change? Yeah, sure. I think that there's two different ways to look at that. First of all, there's really f kind of further outreaching things. Virtual reality, we launched a virtual reality store in Australia with a large retailer there. So that testing out what, how that technology will work, how we use artificial intelligence and data to make shopping quicker and easier more down-to-earth and practical things right now in the UK that we're doing. I've talked about the partnership with Argos and Sainsbury's, uh, making sure that uh, customers can uh, get the data in front of the retailers to find what they want. And you say artificial, artificial intelligence, <coughs> excuse me, does that mean more Big Brother, more watching us shopping and working out what we want? And Yeah, the job is to use the data in an intelligent way. So some of the data that we've revealed in today's report is kind of nice ways that we can use data so that retailers know what inventory to get in front of the customer at what time. That means the consumer gets more of what they want and therefore it makes for a successful business as well and we think that's kind of a nice combination. Interesting, Marie. Do you have a Halloween costume? No, you seem to sell a lot of them yeah, on the site. Yeah, some fake latex maybe, that would be the big thing. That's a whole other part of you. <laughs> <laughs> Marie, thank you very much.